Hi everyone and welcome back to Bojan Cybersecurity Channel. My name is Jose Ernest, Cybersecurity Specialist. Today's video is an awareness presentation about Information Asset Register. Before I start with this presentation, I want to say thank you to Dr. Mohamed Atefa from Infosec 46, uh, who is the Chief Director for the project we are going, uh, working on. As cybersecurity specialist, we have been assigned to work on an ISMS 27001 project to help the government entities in Dubai to get uh, an ISO certification license, which is a requirement for the organ for the government entities. Without further ado, let's get started. The objective of this presentation is uh, to explain to all the participants, mostly the uh, supervisor, the manager of, the the, of each department, what is information asset, why information asset uh, register is uh, important, and w w what are the key components of an information asset register. What is an information asset register? An information asset register is a database which holds details of all information assets within an organization. It can be a database and also an Excel. It is a way for organizations to, um, it could be an online, it could be an online storage database. It is also, uh, can be an Excel. It is a way for organization to understand and also monitor and transfer and archive information. There are two types of uh, assets. Physical, uh, tangible assets, there are two types of uh, assets. Tangible assets and intangible assets. Tangible assets are physical assets uh, within the organization. Intangible assets uh, are uh, assets that uh, we cannot identify, we cannot see. Those, for example, uh, reputation of the organization, intellectual property of the, for the organization, and also the license and the goodwill of the organization. The importance of a, an information asset register is to help uh, the organization uh, with uh, the uh, identification of information. It makes those assets easy to find, share, and maintain. It's, it is vital for protecting the information assets within an organization. And also, information assets facilitate the gap analysis for a continuous uh, information uh, system management uh, uh, security system. Uh, fac also facilitates uh, the gap analysis uh, for a continuous SMS improvement, audit, and compliance. An information asset registry gives organization a visibility over the information asset it holds. You have, uh, when, while working with uh, asset, asset uh, uh, while implementing the project, the first, the key thing, the first key thing to take into consideration is to select the asset owner. The asset owner is the person normally that is responsible for ensuring that risk of uh, those to the asset are maintained typically the ai the ia are owned by the typically the ia the complete identify the value the, you have to know the value of the asset and you have to identify the key assets that contain the information that each office needs to stay up and running should there be a situation you have to describe the asset you gather and also you have to create the step down to create on the asset management allows you to identify to have access all the time on the with the current and up-to-date information there are some key components of an information asset such as uh, asset information classification group department who is uh, uh, that is responsible to work on this project the owner of the asset the custodial the user 
while working on on asset information asset you have to classify your asset you have to choose the classification label here for the project we are selected uh, the, 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 the the government entities classification and level for this level lab. there is a requirement when you work on information asset classification you have to identify the label you have to label what type of classification is good for the, the uh, government entities uh, in based on the classification we selected we use open confidential sensitive and secret because uh, this information is very important you label them your asset are based on the sensitivity you have the confidentiality it can be low medium high and very high you have the integrity that refers to the completeness of and the accuracy of information you have uh, also availability refers to how soon the information is required in case it's lost and the next step is to create your information asset registry for the purpose of this uh, presentation we use excel and we can see the different format the different name uh, on a table uh, so that information uh, we gonna select the security type it can be confidential internal use and also public an asset owner is the legal owner of the assets it can be a department or senior management responsible for ensuring that the proper control are in place to address confidentiality and also integrity and availability of information an asset owner also may delegate the operational responsibility for information asset to the delegated custodian an asset owner may approve information management policy standard and guidelines in based on the asset classification a custodian is uh, selected by an asset owner to maintain to maintain information asset according to the rules set by the owner you know, a custodian also ensure proper quality of security integrity a correctness and also consistency uh, privacy confidentiality and accessibility throughout the life cycle of the asset they are bound by the acceptable usage policy of the organization and also uh, you have to select a backup champion that way uh, that can support the custodian while doing the information asset and registry is an example of an information asset registry it has all the different uh, uh, fields and column that's needed to have a solid uh, database of an information asset and also you have to keep a log of all the change within uh, the, during the life cycle of the uh, of the asset information registry that's going to help you finally this we have seen as a conclusion we have seen the importance of what is information asset register the data owner the value of an asset the asset classification the creation process and also an example of an asset information registry thank you for watching this video if you have any um question don't forget to comment on the um, below and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel to so that you won't miss any future video on that project on this particular project for this government entity thank you and see you next time